Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you a quick and easy way to create backgrounds using GIMP and one of the filters called Thane. First thing we need to do is go to File, New, and I'll create an image with this size. Click OK. Then I'll go to Edit and fill with the foreground color which is black. Next thing, Filters, Render, Nature, Flame. And here we get this dialog box. The first thing we want to do is to select the colors that we want to use and the, by default it's custom gradient and also we have some presets here we can use you can see the colors here also here in the preview and also we can use any image that is open as a layer here so if you open a digital photograph uh, and select it you'll get the color map here but I'll use a custom gradient and go to the blend tool here and select the gradient I want to use and of course you can create your own gradients I have videos about that let's select this one more colorful go back to the flame and next thing we need to do is to increase this sample density with which uh, controls the quality and you can also control the brightness and some other options here let's go to edit next and uh, I'll select this randomize option and I'll click it until I see something that I like let's say this is the one I want to use I'll click on that then click OK and next thing again I'll click OK to render this see what we have here now a very interesting effect also I want to show you something else let's reshow this filter flame go here and again I'll choose edit and I'll select let's say this one here I'll click OK and here from this tab camera you can adjust how big this is going to be and also the position let's make it smaller and uh, I want to position it let's say around here somewhere I'll click OK again and now you see we have this here I'm gonna do that because I don't like the result and uh, that's it you can experiment using different gradients, different colors, also experiment with the filter here with the random option here on edit to get a graphic that you like and create some interesting backgrounds. So that's it for this tutorial, bye for now.